I'm Rachel Kelly and I've had two breakdowns and I wanted to tell you about them. I went from being mildly anxious to being completely unable to function. I could no longer be a wife, a mother, a journalist, a daughter, a friend. No one could reach me. Not my little boys, not my mother, not my husband. All I could think about was the pain. No worse, there is none. Pitch past pitch of grief. More pangs, will, schooled at four pangs, wilder ring. Comforter, where? Where is your comforting? I felt as if I was falling, as if the bed was falling. All I could do was to hold on to my mother's hand. She used to repeat this line endlessly. My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. We held hands and we said this phrase again and again, together. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the word and never stops at all. It was when my mother started to add poetry that I began to feel that I could recover. These healing words could help me. Gradually, I began to feel that I had a future. Like everybody in deep depression, I needed help from drugs and therapy, but poetry was at the heart of my recovery. And not by eastern windows only when daylight comes, comes in the light. In front, the sun climbs slow, how slowly, but westward look, the land is bright. I had travelled from past pitch of grief to a land that is bright. And now in age I bud again. After so many deaths, I live and write. I once more smell the dew and rain and relish versing. Oh, my light. Who would have thought my shriveled heart could have recovered greenness? I was trying to describe to my son what depression felt like. I said it was like a rainbow, but which had turned black. And he turned to me and he said, but mummy, he said, rainbows are never black. Oh, you tears, I'm thankful that you run. Though you trickle in the darkness, you shall glitter in the sun. The rainbow could not shine if the rain refused to fall. And the eyes that cannot weep are the saddest eyes of all. <laughs>